Imagine a place so vast and untouched that it's been called Earth's final frontier. A place where temperatures can drop to minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit, where not a single tree grows. And yet, hidden beneath miles of ancient ice lies something extraordinary. What if I told you that under Antarctica's ice sheet, buried beneath layers of snow older than human civilization itself, there are mountains taller than the Alps, freshwater lakes sealed off from the world for millions of years, and strange signs that something or someone may have once lived there? This isn't science fiction, it's real. And now scientists are racing to uncover secrets that could change everything we know about Earth's past and possibly its future. Why has Antarctica remained so mysterious for so long? And what are we really standing on when we say we're standing on solid ground? Because the truth is, what lies beneath Antarctica's ice might just be the most important discovery of the century. In this video, we're diving deep literally beneath the thickest ice on Earth to explore one of the most mysterious and untouched places in the world. You'll discover why scientists believe Antarctica used to be a lush green continent with forests and rivers, possibly even ancient civilizations. The secret subglacial lakes that have been sealed off from the surface for millions of years and might contain unknown life forms. The hidden mountain range the size of the European Alps that no human has ever seen with their eyes. And how melting Antarctic ice could flood entire cities in your lifetime. But this isn't just about science. This is about wonder, survival, and what happens when nature keeps secrets for too long. Because Antarctica isn't just a frozen desert, it's a time capsule, a ticket clock and maybe a mirror showing us where our planet is heading. So buckle up because what you're about to learn will take you from prehistoric jungles to modern climate crises and deep into one of the most important mysteries of our time. Antarctica wasn't always frozen. Let that sink in for a moment. Travel back in time about 90 million years ago, and the land we now call Antarctica was something entirely different. It wasn't covered in snow or locked in ice. It was lush, green, teeming with life. Imagine ferns swaying in the breeze, rivers snaking through dense forests, dinosaurs roaming freely. Yes, dinosaurs in Antarctica. How do we know this? In 2012, a team of German and British scientists made a groundbreaking discovery. Preserved soil beneath the ice that contained fossilized roots, spores, and remnants of a rainforest. These weren't just bits and pieces. They were vivid snapshots of a thriving ecosystem from the mid-Cretaceous period. Antarctica, it turns out, was once a part of the supercontinent Gondwana, connected to South America, Africa, and Australia. But then the world changed tectonic plates shifted, slowly tearing Gondwana apart. Antarctica drifted southward, farther and farther into isolation. The Earth's climate cooled, glaciers grew, and eventually Antarctica became what it is today, a vast white desert sealed away by its own icy armor. For millions of years, snow fell, layer upon layer, each flake adding to the weight pressing down on whatever lay below. Forests were crushed, Mountains were hidden, rivers turned to frozen silence. It's as if nature hit the pause button and buried an entire world underneath. And here's the most haunting part. What was trapped down there? Stayed trapped, untouched, unspoiled, waiting. But waiting for what? The thing about Antarctica's ice is that it doesn't just hide the past, it preserves it, like a deep freezer for the planet's secrets. So when scientists finally pierced the ice to look beneath, they weren't just conducting research. They were cracking open a time capsule, a doorway into Earth's forgotten history. And what they started to find was astonishing. Let's go beneath the ice. Not metaphorically, literally. Using ground-penetrating radar, satellites, and subglacial sonar, Scientists have slowly started to peel back the white curtain that covers Antarctica. And what they're seeing is nothing short of breathtaking. One of the first shocking discoveries was a vast mountain range, completely buried under the East Antarctic ice sheet. Known as the Gumbertsov Mountains, this range is about the size of the European Alps. Yes, you heard that right. An entire mountain range, thousands of meters high, hundreds of kilometers long, 
completely invisible to the naked eye. Buried beneath more than four kilometers of ice, it's never been seen in person. No one has climbed its peaks. No one has even set foot on its slopes. And yet it's there, silent and unyielding beneath the frozen crust. Scientists are baffled. The rocks suggest the mountains are over a billion years old, yet they somehow remained sharp and jagged, protected, preserved. How they formed and why they still exist is a geological mystery. Now imagine a lake, not just any lake, but one that's been sealed off for millions of years. No light, no air, no contact with the surface. This is Lake Vostok, Antarctica's most famous subglacial lake. It lies beneath more than 2.5 miles of solid ice. When scientists first confirmed its existence in the 1990s, many believed it was completely sterile, just a pool of ancient, frozen water. But in 2013, Russian researchers drilled into the lake and claimed to have found something incredible, microscopic life. If true, it would mean that life can survive in places we once thought impossible. No sun, no oxygen, no nutrients from the outside world. And Vostok isn't alone. Over 400 subglacial lakes have now been identified across Antarctica. Some of them are interconnected by hidden rivers flowing beneath the ice, like a secret network of veins beneath a continent's skin. Why does this matter? Because if life can survive in these dark, extreme environments here on Earth, maybe it can survive elsewhere. On Jupiter's moon Europa, or Saturn's Enceladus. These frozen moons also hide oceans beneath their icy shells. Antarctica may hold the key to proving we're not alone in the universe. In 2019, a team drilling on the Amundsen seacoast made another discovery. Fossilized roots, spores, and even remnants of ancient rainforest buried deep beneath the ice. These weren't just vague plant impressions in rock. The material was so well preserved that researchers could study the cellular structure. It revealed a climate once rich with life, perhaps with seasonal light and warmth even at the South Pole. What if more of these fossil forests lie beneath the ice? What else is buried there? Could ruins, artifacts, or even signs of ancient civilizations be entombed under all that ice? Some fringe researchers have speculated wildly about lost cities and pyramid-like structures spotted in satellite images. While most of these claims are debunked or unproven, they reflect a real hunger to understand how much we don't know about this frozen land. And even if there's no Atlantis beneath the ice, the truth we're uncovering may be just as shocking. Earth's climate and ecosystems were once so different that our modern maps and understanding feel small in comparison. Believe it or not, Antarctica is one of the best places on Earth to find meteorites. When space rocks fall onto the icy desert, they don't sink into soil or get washed away. They simply land and wait. The cold preserves them. The wind uncovers them. And since there's almost no natural rock on the surface, the black meteorites stand out against the white snow like ink on a blank page. Some of these space rocks are over 4.5 billion years old, older than any rock on Earth. In 2023, a team discovered a massive meteorite weighing over 16 pounds. Some contain amino acids, building blocks of life, raising the question, did the ingredients for life on Earth arrive from space? And if so, why are the best clues being found in Antarctica? The more we look under the ice, the more Antarctica becomes less of a barren wasteland and more like a vault, holding pieces of Earth's deepest history and perhaps the early moments of life itself. But while the discoveries are incredible, they come with a dark shadow. Because the ice that's kept these secrets safe for millions of years, it's starting to disappear. What happens in Antarctica doesn't stay in Antarctica. We may look at it on a map and feel detached, like it's some distant corner of the planet that has nothing to do with our daily lives. No cities, no highways, no farms, just snow and silence. But Antarctica is not silent, it's screaming. We just haven't been listening. Antarctica acts like Earth's natural air conditioner. Its massive ice sheets reflect sunlight back into space, keeping the planet cool. But as they melt, darker land and ocean surfaces are exposed, absorbing more heat and speeding up global warming. This isn't an abstract concept, it's physics. It's happening now. 
and the consequences are already being felt. Record-breaking heat waves, devastating floods, rising oceans, swallowing beaches, and threatening entire cities. What melts at the South Pole doesn't stay there. It travels across oceans, across borders, across time. Let's talk numbers. Between 1992 and today, Antarctica has already lost over 4 trillion tons of ice. That's enough to cover all of New York City in more than a mile of water, 12 times over. In places like the Marshall Islands, sea levels have already swallowed up parts of villages. In Venice, flood barriers are now routine. In Miami, storm drains flow backward during high tides. These aren't scenes from a movie. They're real, and they're just the beginning. Some projections show that by the year 2100, over 1 billion people could be displaced due to sea level rise. That's not a crisis. That's a global reshaping of humanity. Then there's the biological threat. Antarctica's permafrost isn't just frozen dirt. It's a vault. Inside it are microbes, bacteria, and even viruses that haven't been exposed to modern ecosystems or human immune systems for tens of thousands of years. In Siberia, melting permafrost has already awakened anthrax spores from dead reindeer. In Antarctica, the risks are even more mysterious. In isolated subglacial lakes like Lake Vostok, we found DNA sequences unlike anything we've seen before. We don't know if these microorganisms are dangerous, but we do know this. They've evolved in total darkness, sealed off from the surface world for millions of years. Releasing them isn't just like opening a Pandora's box, it's like opening a box we didn't even know existed. Still think this doesn't affect you? Well, consider this. Antarctica affects global weather patterns. As it warms and ice melts, the jet stream shifts. Ocean currents like the thermohalin circulation, which control rainfall, agriculture, and seasons, are influenced by how much fresh water is dumped into the sea. This means droughts in Africa, floods in Asia, crop failures in America, hurricanes in the Atlantic, fires in Australia. Antarctica is not separate, it's central. And perhaps the most chilling part? Once these feedback loops start, they don't just stop. We may already be past critical tipping points. And unlike some problems, climate change isn't a movie with a last minute fix. There's no superhero coming. The ice won't wait for politics. There is hope. There are still things we can do. The knowledge we're gaining from Antarctica about Earth's history, its climate, its delicate balance, can still help us steer away from disaster. But the window is closing. Antarctica has preserved the story of the planet for millions of years. The question now is whether we'll listen to what it's telling us before it's too late to turn the page. So, what now? We've dug into the depths of Antarctica's ice. We've uncovered mountains, lakes, fossils, and mysteries that defy imagination. We've seen how this frozen land is not just a place on the edge of the map, but a living, breathing part of our planet's story. But stories alone won't save us. We're now living in a time where the secrets of Antarctica are no longer buried. They're surfacing, and with them comes a truth we can't ignore. We must learn how to live in a world where the ice is melting, not tomorrow, not someday. Now the first step is awareness, not passive awareness, but active learning. The more we understand Antarctica, the better we can model the future of climate, sea levels, and ecosystems. Supporting science, funding it, following it, sharing it, is not just for researchers in labs, it's for all of us. Simple things matter. When you read or watch something that moves you, share it. Start conversations, Push for science to be heard in classrooms, newsrooms, and boardrooms. Because silence is what allowed Antarctica to stay hidden for so long. It can't afford to be silent anymore. Real solutions need to happen at the top. We need stronger global climate agreements. Not just pledges, but action. Not just goals for 2050, but changes today. Ending fossil fuel subsidies, protecting polar research zones, reducing deforestation, investing in renewable energy. Antarctica doesn't belong to any one nation. It belongs to all of us. That means protecting it is not optional. It's a shared responsibility. Policies matter. Voting matters. Leaders who understand climate science matter. Change doesn't happen because we hope it will. 
It happens because we demand it. You don't have to be a scientist or an activist to make a difference. You can start small, reduce your carbon footprint, eat less meat, waste less food, use public transport, switch to efficient appliances, support clean energy, choose green options when possible. Your energy bill is a vote. Protect the oceans. What we dump in the sea reaches the poles. Reduce plastic, respect marine life, amplify the message. Talk about Antarctica. Make it real for people who've never thought about it. Tell them what you've learned. Turn silence into awareness. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. And the truth is, many of us are already more powerful than we think. We have influence over our families, our friends, our online circles. Use it. Make Antarctica part of the conversation because ignoring it won't make it go away. We also need to be honest. Some changes are already locked in. Sea levels will rise. Storms will intensify. Certain coastlines will change forever. We need cities to prepare, engineers to design resilient infrastructure, governments to plan for climate migration, and communities to protect the most vulnerable. It's not just about saving what's left, it's about adapting to what's coming. And there's dignity in that, courage even. Because facing the future means acknowledging it, not fearing it. It means taking care of each other and not pretending that someone else will fix it all for us. The ice is melting, the time is now. But if there's one thing Antarctica has taught us, it's that even after millions of years in darkness, there's still something waiting underneath, still hope, still life. Now it's your turn. What's hidden beneath your surface? A quiet fear? A dream you buried? A truth you're still learning to accept? Share it in the comments only if you feel ready. You never know who you might inspire or who might need to hear that they're not alone. And if this journey beneath the ice made you stop, feel, or see the world a little differently, let us know. Don't forget to like this video, share it with someone who needs it, and most of all, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon so you never miss a moment like this again, because there's still so much more to uncover. Stay curious.